In a few of your spare moments, this record will help you master the coveted art of calling ducks with a duck call. Your instructor, Philip E. Olt, believes that knowing what to say and when is more important than how you say it. We'll confine our instructions to the calling of mallards, because others of the puddler class, pintails, ballpates, godwells, teal, and broadbills, respond consistently well to mallard calling. Let's pick up a duck call and place the end of the call firmly in the fork between the thumb and first finger of the hand so that the end of the call rests against the center palm of the hand. Now, place the mouthpiece in your mouth with the lips partly covering the end and blow these words, cack, 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 cack. It is helped and controlled by the tongue and the lips with the breath coming from as deep down in the chest as possible and exerting a strong breath pressure against the call. That, of course, is just the elementary procedure in making the key tone of the various calls which make up the wild duck language and sounds like this when applied to the duck call. <coughs> now suppose we start off and give you the first of the three essential calls in the correct sequence used in working a flock of ducks off quite a distance, clear to the point of settling them down in the decoys. Each call will be given twice for clarification. However, in actually working a flock of ducks, each call should be repeated as often as necessary as indicated by the reaction of the ducks. Now, the first call to use is the long call or greeting call and should be made only to ducks at quite some distance away, but should never be given when the ducks are in close. The second and next call to use will be the come on in or come on back call, which is given when the ducks are about 200 yards off and coming toward the decoys, or immediately after they passed over you and going away. Note carefully the full voiced quacks of this call that ducks always make on water when they're happy and neighborly like this. Now the third and last call to use is the feeding chuckle when the ducks are in close. It's the confidential chatter of a hen mallard mixed with an occasional optimistic quack, 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 and is the most seductive call of all. It is made with the help of the tongue as you blow the words ticket, 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 softly and very rapidly like this. Now, if you will please turn to part two on the other side of this record, we will take you with us in a duck blind. We're in the blind now, loading our guns and scanning the sky for the first block of ducks to appear. Ordinarily, we're going to open up on ducks that are all of a half mile away, giving the long call or greeting call. There's a flock now. Looks like about 25 ballards. So, we grab the duck call and start blowing loud and high in their direction so it will surely carry to them. Notice how this call is made to simulate two or three mallard hens on the water joining their calls and pleading with those ducks to come down to them. Listen. Now, it's entirely possible that those birds have already been called in several times and have had several rounds of shot thrown in their faces. If that's the case, they'll be nervous turn away when you open up and few callers will even waste their time on them. But if they're interested, and they are, they are breaking in flight and turning toward us, which gives us the cue to start the come on in or come on back call. <laughs> the flock is steadily coming toward us, losing altitude, eyeing our decoys and trying to make up their minds. That's the time to give them the confidential chatter of the feeding chuckle, cramming in an optimistic quack, 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 quack of contentment as they come nearer and nearer like this.
battering is suspended as they pass over us. We don't want to attract their attention to us and the blind. Now they're going away, so we start the come on back call again. They're swinging short, coming back. The feeding chuckle. Passing by, the come on back call. That did it. Here they come. They're satisfied. They've heard no unnatural silence in calling. What a sight this is as we peep over the edge of our blind. Coming, coming, riding in on rigid wings, we can begin to pick out the green heads of the drakes now. A little more of the feeding chuckle. They're rocking gently to lose altitude quickly. They stick out their orange-colored legs. They're hovering over the decoys. Okay, let them have it. Three ducks hit the water with a resounding splice. Well, that's it, friends, the ultimate in duck hunting. Anything else is at a climax. To us, the thrills of duck hunting are measured by the part we feel we've played in making it possible for you. Good luck and good hunting.